there's a lot going on here there's a lot going on here and uh, it's not just limited to naruto's nerf which he got after kurama's death i still feel like naruto is one of the most strongest characters in the entire world but there's problems with how his character is being handled here in the boruto manga in the boruto series as a whole uh, the actions which he's taking the way in which he's fumbling here it's just disgusting to watch at times this entire interaction is something which i really do not like the way in which naruto is reacting to all of these things it's problematic i understand from the point of view of naruto that his adopted son is just becoming the next ishiku tsutsuki but hey naruto is the hokage you have to remember that naruto is just as usual taken aback by all of these things it it, it honestly feels as if naruto's hokage position it's just a title at this moment there's no actual gravity to his title people are just throwing around the name of naruto like anything back in the day do you think that would have happened to hashirama that would have happened to hiruzen that would have happened to hinamba you know minato no that's that's not something which is going to happen right now naruto's status is just it feels weird it's really feeling weird to see how naruto is reacting to all of these things i understand the plot point or the notion that hey naruto is not like his predecessors he's not just a cold hearted killing machine but at the same time you have to understand that this is not a naive naruto this is not a 16 year old 17 year old naruto this is a veteran naruto he's an adult he has been a hokage for some time now and he understands what is at stake what are the risks here he can't get emotional every single time just because he is naruto just because he used to be the ex protagonist of the series he doesn't have the chance to let moments like this slip actually he can't just be emotional every single moment that hey kawaki why are you doing this hey boruto why are you doing this he has to take stern actions every now and then alongside along with all of these things naruto is not weak Naruto is not weak. We have to understand that even without Kurama, he has access to Sage Mode. He is the incarnation of Ashura Uzuki. There's so much stuff going on for Naruto even today even after the lack of Kurama. So, I do not really understand this notion of why every single other character is just jumping into the frame in order to quote unquote save Naruto. Shikamaru is jumping into the line to save Naruto. Sasuke is saving Naruto or trying to save Naruto. Sakura is jumping in and running to save Naruto. Um Boruto is jumping in to save try to save Naruto. Kawaki is jumping in to in order to try to save Naruto. Every single character it's like their duty to just save Naruto. I mean I understand for Shikamaru he is the assistant to the Hokage. He has to try to be there for Naruto every single time. That's understandable. That's quite understandable. The same goes for Sasuke as well. even though even though i'm not really a fan of the way in which sasuke is actually handled here i really like his character what he is doing but his overall dynamic into the story in regards to a shadow kage it's not something which i really appreciate that much the term shadow kage in itself is very oxymoron for him because kage actually means shadow so if you are saying shadow kage that means kage kage but nevertheless in order to understand this you have to basically think in a way that naruto is even stronger than hashirama naruto is stronger than all the other previous hokages but the way in which he is actually handled here it's like he is just a bumbling fool he is just a 10 year old boru is just kicking him in the stomach uh, kawaki is kicking him ishigo tsutsuki was man handling him every single person was just man handling naruto here and every single time naruto is just surprised by all of these things he's not even decisive he has to save the village god damn it that's the objective of the hokage that's the basic deal of the hokage he has to be the strongest person to save konoha to save the village and no he doesn't need to die in order to do that i mean sure minato and all the others have laid down their life in order to save the village but here you have to understand that these otsutsuki characters are not just going to stop right now he has to understand that and he shouldn't really fight to die here at this moment he has to fight to save the village 
and to save himself the village needs him the village needs powerhouses like naruto and sasuke it's just not going to be one battle and done he has to save himself and he has to save the village as well and in order to do something like that specifically with naruto's level of expertise in not just ninjutsu but the war uh, experience the experience from fight that he actually has with that in hindsight for all this time he should have raised a you know special unit under directly under him which specializes in senjutsu that is one of my biggest gripes with the series that why was a senjutsu squad not utilized in the series in the last movie we saw how lee was leading a group of people a group of konoha ninja who was specifically dealing with taijutsu even though we have not seen that in the boto era any time like after that after the last movie we have never seen that happen but it's just at least in canon it's canon that okay konoha once upon a time like specifically when naruto was adult developed a division dedicated to the taijutsu to the eight gate users that is 100% something which the village should do the same goes for naruto he is an expert in sage mode he is an expert in senjutsu at this moment and specifically after seeing what happened with obito and now seeing whatever has happened with uh, you know momoshiki shikiyo tsutsuki and all the others he should have ideally created a division of uh, ninja who are trying to specialize into the senjutsu arts that would have really helped in the protection of the village naruto's outlook of i will die to save this village is wrong because the village needs strong people village needs sasuke village needs naruto village needs kakashi and all these other characters if naruto is going to die every single time or like jump into a battle thinking that okay i'm going to die in this battle that's just a wrong outlook you have to save yourself and save the village in the same process so to summarize all of these things naruto gets too emotionally vested every single time and i know that this is a very common factor and a unique factor for naruto which was specifically present back in the day when naruto was young and it was sort of his defining characteristic and defining moment as well because he unlike his predecessors is not a heartless killing machine he is not a ruthless killer who is just going to kill every single person like a typical ninja is supposed to be but rather naruto is a very emotional person and he's going to show his restraint he's going to show his concern for other people and that involved obviously sasuke and a lot of other characters this entire thing evolved into the meme that we know as of today in the form of the talk no jutsu but the problem with all of these things here is that this naruto is not the same this is an adult version of the naruto this is the hokage naruto who is supposed to be much more wiser much more experienced specifically after seeing the worst effects or the side effects of the war this naruto shouldn't be the same as a 16 year old naruto i'm not saying that he has to become a ruthless killer that's just not in the characteristic for naruto but at the same time he has to take in decisions which are going to be favorable for the village there are going to be moments when naruto has to take the right decision even though it's not going to make him emotionally happy with those decisions these are the things which come into the place when you are at a leading position when you are at a position wherein you are leading people and here naruto's number one concern should be the safety of the village and in order to execute this he doesn't need to kill him every single time as i said before the village actually needs him and even in accordance with the will of fire in order to help out the new generation in order to make the newer generation the king as asma said naruto and the others need to be the forefathers need to be like the protective shade and the protective umbrella for this newer generation and in order to continue in order to make that happen naruto needs to execute his battles in a way in which he is not directly getting killed all of these things all of his emotional bumblings are actually going to bite him we are 100% certain of that specifically with the time skip tease it is going to bite him some way or the other specifically with the character of kawaki i've already talked about kawaki in details why i don't think that he's going to be the actual villain but it's not going to change the fact that this behavior of naruto is going to be a very big menace for him so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you like it share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more also please join the channel membership for some very cool perks and features and join the discord server for more
This is Wonder by Z and I'll see you all on the next one.